The first challenge which I've seen with the definition of metadata, it can be of various types, or we can speak about uh, business, technical, and operational metadata, because I have a feeling even in our discussion, we just now move very quickly to technical data lineage. But uh, let's agree that data model is a metadata. Even data lineage is also a very complex construct, which is also considered to be a metadata. So, and uh, it means that we should be very precise what we are talking about. Because I have a feeling when we speak about data management, we mainly speak about metadata management. Let's take a look. Data architecture, application architecture. The all deliverables are metadata, data modeling. Data classification is also metadata that we deliver. So this is the challenges which I also would like to tackle on because we do forget sometimes that even big constructs are also metadata. Look, what do you think about it? Fully agree and partially, the, yeah, you have metadata everywhere, everywhere, all types of metadata, whether it's technical, whether it's semantic, whether it's about data transformation, whether it's about ownership. So you, the biggest challenge around metadata is first of all, choose the right classification that you can maintain and keep it alive uh, on the long run. Uh, having a scalable metadata management platform, which is the challenge. Huh? Uh, small is beautiful. The more metadata you add to your data, the more complex it will be to maintain. As simple as that. That's the biggest challenge I see. It's automated. Okay. It's not only on the technical side, it's this metadata hub, this data corporate knowledge around metadata that is very hard to maintain. That's that's my step. Okay, thank you. Dr. Siu, what do you think? Yeah, and I'll just back on to what Luke just said. I think, you know, you have to think about who are the users of that metadata, right? So one of the key challenges, you already mentioned about alignment. We see different variations. You had mentioned, for example, you know, about Dama and Dimbach and all of that and, and, and uh, just different contexts. But I think uh, at the end of the day, you need to understand why you need that metadata and clarity around that. The second challenge is enterprise-wide agnostic of what platform or sophisticated tool you're going to be using for creating a data catalog or anything else or for your data product. You have to think about, you know, other than the storage, the technical aspect of it, you have to think about the administrative as well as the structural aspects of it. I think Luke briefly mentioned about the structural, or maybe it was Casey who mentioned it earlier, right? I think you have to also think about by using, by having a schema, a metadata schema, do you actually have a metadata management strategy that will actually help you also in the governance of that data, right? So it's not, it's way really beyond standardizing and all of that, right? You have to think about a large picture. That will help you in categorizing and how you want to build that schema. And the last challenge I would say is having a defined strategy. That is very, very, very important because if you don't have an enterprise defined strategy, what ends up happening is everybody, each business group has their own version of what metadata management is. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Who is the next who would like to share? Them? I you like two yes um i just agree with luke and i think actually um there's a lot of discussion here around the technical side of this but i always say data problems are people problems and so we really need to make the processes as easy as possible for the people who are doing it so that they will continue to do it and maintain it and keep it accurate um, and i think that's just as important as as all the the strategy and the structure and the tech I don't okay. know what anyone else thinks. Okay, thank you. Casey, what is your opinion about it? Yeah, I think from a practicality perspective, right, the, what, what I see customers struggle with is um, being able to keep up with metadata changes, right? A lot of customers get overwhelmed uh, with trying to update metadata. And the problem is if it's a manual process, you're not going to keep up. Let's be realistic, especially in a large environment or a high change rate environment. So I think that's very important is if you think about if you believe metadata is important and you believe governance with metadata is important, then you need to have a way to keep up um, with metadata changes. And it can't be a manual way of keeping up with metadata yeah. changes. Um, the second is kind of to what you said earlier, and that is if you're thinking about the governance um, and the framework, 
I think a lot of folks that um, we've talked to tell us that they spend a lot of time like trying to map out the whole framework and how they're going to govern it. And the problem is by the time they're done, 18 months or two years have passed and they didn't really get to implement any of it. Um, so I think one of the things that we all kind of fall into as an easy trap, it, it's very easy to document. It's very easy to say, I'm going to define this, I'm going to define that. And I think from practical experience, sometimes you have to say, let's start with what's minimal, what's required for us to see how people are going to consume it. Because we're going to learn a lot about how we're going to govern once we actually see how people are actually going to consume the data, uh, as opposed to we're going to hold you guys back and we're not going to define, you know, we're going to just define everything first. And that never goes well. So I've seen that actually hurt a lot of organizations. Uh, so just little, you know, advice in terms of just what I've seen with customers and to make sure that people don't get into trouble there. Okay. Thank you. Ivaila, your opinion? Yeah. Uh, well, I would like to touch upon a few of, uh, a few of the things that uh, Casey and Luke said, because uh, I agree that uh, small is beautiful. And also, as Susan Walsh mentioned, uh, data problems are really people problems and i think out of all these aspects uh come uh actually a few of the challenges that we need to handle and yeah small is beautiful but increasingly in everything that we do and uh, the clients that we uh, work with we find out that one of the challenges actually volume uh, and variety of the data, because with the growing amount of data being created, identifying and properly categorizing associated metadata can be uh, mm -hmm. a challenge. And this might be further complicated by the fact that, again, data can come in diverse uh, range of formats, as uh, we mentioned earlier. So one of the uh, ch uh, one of the things that I relate to with what Susan said regarding uh, being people problems is actually the challenge of interoperability and standardization, which is crucial because different systems and applications might indeed and always use different metadata standards. Uh, but this can lead to compatibility issues when trying to share and collaborate with, with that data. Okay. And of course, uh, uh, there are other aspects that are challenging in practical terms, like privacy and security. Yeah. And last but not least, um, quality, because quality is increasingly uh, foundational for everything that we need to do with data and that data. And I, I, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to add to that, because one of the key things that there are certain industries that are very heavily regulated. So you take healthcare, you take life sciences, you take banking. In that sense, metadata comes easier to them because they're dealing with this day in and day out. If you look at the types of metadata management, whether it's administrative, technical, or structural, they know this because it's frankly being classified for them, right? Agnostic of which geography you're in. Um, and it has an impact on the member, on patients, et cetera, right? So I think in certain cases, you know, it becomes easier for them because they're dealing with it day in, day out. And quickly, I want to pivot to what uh, Casey actually mentioned in terms of practicality. One of the key things is, yes, it's important that we don't wait for 18 months for the entire enterprise to come together and not implement. On the other hand, not having a sound foundation actually has very poor implications down the road. And I've seen that on the other hand, where people have put something together without giving it the thought that was required and without frankly involving people, to Susan's point, involving the people side of it who actually aren't subject matter experts. So it's not a data or an IT or an analytics um, you know, task. Uh, it is actually an enterprise-wide task at a very minimum. It is the business group task where you need to uh, cross-pollinate and make it very cross-functional to have the, a very sound, basic uh, metadata ma uh, you know, foundation or schema. Without that, then you'll just be adding and subtracting. And before you know it, you don't have a sound foundation. So it's a fine balance between time, resources, budget, and the right set of resources, the people side of it. Thinking about the users of that metadata. That is very, I always begin with, why do I even need this, right? Who's going to be using it? Once that is clarified, then you can bring in your stakeholders, your internal and external stakeholders, and then parse it out to saying, hey, look, we've got six days. We don't have six months. To, to do this, right? Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Sue, because, you know, I really like your approach because I do the same approach. First of all, why we need it and then uh, what we need to do.